Cerezo Osaka sit at the top of Group J after a 2-0 win in their first outing. They're looking to take full control after today's matchup. Osaka manager Kulpi praised young up-and-comer Nakajima in the run-up to the fixture. Can he deliver? But on the other side of things, their opponents are no slouch. Kichi took their first game 2-0 as well and will be hunting for any opportunity to solidify their chances of a next round appearance. The opening half is all Osaka, keeping possession and prodding the Kichi back line. A glorious opportunity in the 37th minute as Matsuda does his best to find the cutter but goes sailing past. The Kichi defense is holding strong so far, limiting attacks and clogging up passing lanes and they get themselves moving forward with a rare opportunity. Damjanovic has done it. His first shot on goal, well, the first shot on goal for the team is a historic one at that. 38th minute, his 38th AFC Champions League goal. It really doesn't get any better than that, as he is now the top scorer all time in the competition. His team would take that to heart, bring more offense forward, but the keeper is up to snuff. The closing moments of the half, a chance for 2-0 is denied, and that would be all in the first 45. Well, we would think so, but one opportunity from the youngster Nakajima goes a little bit wide, and that would be all. One to nothing in favor of the Hong Kong side through 45 minutes of play, with no lack of trying from the Japanese counterparts. How would they fare in the second half? Well, the first half, they were limited to the outside. They needed to get into the box, and they did their darndest to do just that. This one, well, not technically a shot on target, perhaps, but certainly on goal, hits the bar, goes out away from danger. Close call for the keeper, Cesar. Just a few moments later, and we would get ourselves a little magic again from the keeper, Cesar doing everything he can but unfortunately for him, it would not be enough. One stop is there, the second cannot be found. Taggart with the cleanup to make it a 1-1 game. A great look at it here, Cesar parries the first, the second not so close. And there was no quit in the Osaka side. They sensed blood in the water and move forward again. They tried up close and that was successful, so why not give it a go from distance? A solid strike from Tiago, but it's Cesar's mistake that ends up being the difference. Two to one for Osaka in the 70th minute. Ultimately, it is too much to handle for Kichi. Osaka take the three points and have the group at their mercy.